Hey guys, long time no see. Welcome back to my channel. And if you wanna see me do two easy eye looks with the new Nomad New Zealand palette, then just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I do post quite often, so highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay, you guys, so 2024 is off to a rough start here in my house. I was so excited. I was so excited. And then we went to a kid's birthday, and after that, the rest, it was just all downhill from there. I ended up getting the flu, passed it to my kids. Now my husband has it. We've been out for about two weeks now, and it honestly freaking sucks, but I'm trying to pick myself up. My mom is here watching the kiddos, so I decided to go ahead and film a second look with this palette. So Nomad Cosmetics so kindly sent this my way, and I already filmed a first look as well as swatches and stuff like that. So I will show that to you first and then we'll do another look with this palette. But yeah, I was so excited about this. And as you can see, it's a beautiful jewel tone color story. So I was all about it. And then I got sick and I never got to finish my video, which I was kind of bummed about. But c'est la vie. It is what it is. So yeah, let's go ahead and look at the close-ups talk about this palette and then we can roll into the makeup looks. So this palette is already available. So yeah, you can use my code if you would like KH Makeup to save. So this is the New Zealand Stargazing Palette. Welcome to Otherworldly Beauty. 15 deep and dazzling shades formulated with extra fine pigments for rich color payoff and heavenly feel. Nine stellar mattes and six twinkling multi-chromes inspired by the Take Your Breath Away Stargazing in New Zealand. Infused with Manuka oil for smooth and crease-proof wear, cruelty-free and vegan. Proud supporter of the Dark Sky International. Designed on location, gazing up at the night skies in New Zealand. Shade descriptions are Dark Sky Nation, Matte Black Hole, Carter Observatory Matte Midnight Purple, Karen Nebula Multichrome Shifting Gold and Plum to Sienna, Auckland Stardom Matte Galactic Magenta, Supernova Violet Matte Space Blue, Milky Way is a Multichrome Shifting Deep Blue to Cobalt to Violet, The Cosmos Matte Cosmic Sky Lavender, Jewel Box Multichrome Shifting Gold to Yellow to Green, Southern Lights Matte Celestial Rose, Southern Cross Multichrome Shifting Purple to Green to Gold, and we have a Matte Milky Way Mauve, Aurora Australis Multichrome Shifting Pink to Lilac to Gray, to gray Lavender, Queenstown Skyline, Matte Nebula Nude, Magellanic Clouds is a Multichrome Shifting White to Pink to Rose Gold. Okay, so this palette is $59, and like I said, you can use my code to save on the Nomad website. I am an affiliate of the brand, so they did send me this beautiful palette. Also, I think this palette is technically not limited edition. They're planning on keeping it around for about a year, just so you guys know. So no rush to pick it up if you are on a budget, or you're on a no buy, or a low buy, or things like that. So very very excited that you guys have time to shop this palette anyways let's go ahead and get into the first look i created with this palette also i don't think i was able to show you guys in the close-up but the name is like in this beautiful like foil so you can kind of see it there but i just wanted to point that out because i don't think you can see it in the close-ups and i'm kind of feeling a neutrally look so that's what i'm gonna do first okay so i'm gonna start off with this like pink mauve shade called Southern Lights and that's going to be my main crease color. That matte shade is so pretty. It's very gently pigmented but you can definitely build it up so I appreciate that. Auckland Stardom. It's like a more mauve shade and 
I'm also gonna put that in the crease just to like brighten it up just a little bit. I guess this is a berry look. I guess I can't really call it a neutral look, but the next look is definitely going to be more galactic looking, so I guess this is going to be the softer look. That's so pretty. And then I'm going to use this multi-chrome called Southern Cross. It's like the mauve gold green multi-chrome. And we're just going to foil that all onto the lid. So I'm grabbing a flat brush from Sigma, picking up a good amount of this shadow. I feel like I'm very familiar with these types of multi-chromes. So usually I don't worry about needing a glitter glue with these because these tend to foil really nicely. They kind of have that blackened base. So I'm picking up a good amount and just foiling that all over the lid. We do have a guest in studio. Somebody was supposed to be napping, but the grandparents came over and they were making a bit of a ruckus. So before she woke up, I could really use a nap myself. This palette is being revealed on Saturday. So of course I want to have it ready to go. And I want to have multiple looks, especially because Nomad is so kind and they send the palette out in advance so you can be prepared. So I want to take the time to make as many looks as I possibly can. I'm sure I'm going to do at least two, maybe three. We'll see how it goes. But I have just been so incredibly tired. It's been wild. Anyway, I'm going to take this shade called Oraki Mackenzie. It's like a really pretty purple. I think that'll pair really nicely with that berry shade on the crease and I'm just gonna run that on the lower lash line. I feel like this palette is gonna look a little dramatic but you can definitely create something less dramatic if you desire to do so. And then I'm gonna take a smaller blending brush and I'm going to go into the shade called Dark Sky Nation, which is the black. And I'm just going to tap a little bit of it on the outer crease and do a little bit of blending. Okay, cute, simple, right? A little dramatic. But I'm trying not to make it too dramatic. I'm going to take that bigger blending brush I used for the mobs and just kind of blend it out a little. But yeah, kind of simple, but I love it. So I just need to throw on some mascara, some lip products, a blush, a highlighter, all of the things. And I'll be right back to show you guys look number one. Okay, friends. So here is the finished look. Let me know what you think. I definitely started off thinking I was going to do a more like neutral look, a more brown tone look, but it turned into a beautiful monochromatic purpley look, which I am not mad about at all. So yeah, this is look number one. Let me know which one is your favorite, of course, down below, but let me tell you really quick what else is on my face today. So I did try a new lippy. This is from Milani and I love this so far. It is, oh God, I'm so blind. Ugh. I don't even know, but it's one of their new like lip balms and it's so hydrating. Like I thought this was gonna be more like the Lawless lip balm, but look at how juicy it is and pigmented. So really like it. My lips were feeling pretty dry. So I'm happy I decided to put that on. And then I've been diving into my makeup collection because I did recently do a declutter, those declutter videos. The playlist is linked always in my description box if you're interested. I'm wearing this Dior highlighter in the shade Coral Glow. And then for blush, I pulled out an oldie but a goodie. This is Nabla's Adults Only. I love this. It's one of my favorite glowy red highlighters. It's so beautiful. 
I think this shade looks beautiful on medium and tan skin tones. So if you've never seen it, now here it is. And then my earrings are from a local store. I will link the Instagram account down below in case you guys are interested. So that is look number one. Let's head on over to look number two. Okay friends, it's time for the second look with the stargazing palette. So I really wanted to do something kind of neutral leaning and I ended up doing a more purpley look. So let's see if I can do something a little bit more, I don't know, I was thinking I should do like some blues because I was really wanting to play with the blues and the purples and then I ended up doing like a purpley look. But one of the things I also realized as I was contemplating this palette is it is actually a really nice palette if you're kind of like trying to get into color, if you're not so familiar with it. It's really bold but also very wearable in a sense. So I'm going to go into this shade called Tecapo Stargazing. I hope I didn't butcher that but it's a beautiful blue and I'm going to kind of put that on the crease. And we're going to blend it towards the inner half of the eye. But I feel like for myself, I put a lot of pressure on myself to be like, oh my gosh, I need to do like these really creative looks. And sometimes they do turn out that way. But sometimes I feel like you can do a lot with, you know, just a little bit of impact with shadows. So I'm trying really hard to be myself all the time, of course, and not really come down on myself for not being able to do like the most complicated, the most technical looks. And I just want to be okay with that. And I feel like you guys also appreciate it because maybe you're just doing a look for a night out or you're going to run to the store or something for work so I hope that you guys kind of feel the same way as me about some of this stuff okay so I took the shade Cosmos and I'm gonna run that from the inner corner kind of towards the middle and just help blend out that blue shade okay it's really not lightening it up as much <laughs> as I would have hoped but that's okay so yeah, I'm already starting the year off a little bit behind and I'm kind of bummed about it, but there's not a whole lot I can do. So I'm just trying to like accept it. <laughs> I'm just trying to accept it and move on. But tell me, do you guys still want to see me rank my 2023 eyeshadow palettes? Because, oh my gosh, I've just been, it's just been a lot. I'm sorry. I shouldn't come on here and be like, I just don't have time. I don't know. Well, well, nobody cares. <laughs> Everybody's busy. So just tell me if you guys would still want to see it. I think you guys would. And I just need to like, I just need to do it. I just need to rip it off like a band-aid. Get all the palettes pulled and just rank them. I did end up selling some of the palettes I got um, last year already. So I'm just going to rank what I have. But... I just took the black shade called Dark Sky Nation and I'm putting that on the outer corner just to make it like nice and smoky as per usual. And it's getting a little wild on the outer corner there. On this side, it's like, whoa, Karen, slow it down. But that's okay. I think we can handle it but okay so I think we have to use this shade called Milky Way because it's like that pretty blue multi-chrome and then maybe uh Meglianic Clouds on the inner corner or something so let's see let's start off with Milky Way on the lid and we'll see where I can go from there I also got um this amazing package from her beauty which I can't smell anything, so I'm like, well, I'm not going to use this lotion right now, but I know the hair and body spray smells really good, um, so I have to try out the rest, but I'm just putting Milky Way kind of on the outer corner here, and 
I was gonna do it all over the lid, but I kind of want to try something different. So let's try something different, you know? So I'm just gonna pack that on. God, that's, you know, multigrams just never get old. They really don't. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade called Southern Cross. It's also multi-chrome, more of like a magenta into a purple. And I'm just gonna plop that kind of on the inner half of the eyelid. Ooh, that's fun. And then I wanna take a little bit of Magnetic Clouds or whatever that shade is called. And I kind of want to plop it like on the inner corner a little bit as well as like a little bit into the crease. So I'll do that in a second. Let me put some liner on quick. Oh my gosh, you guys. I filmed my December. <laughs> I filmed my December eyeshadow palette ranking video. And I put the Bailey Syrian palette in the ranking. And I ranked it in last place. But I said like I haven't used this palette enough. I'm just putting it in this ranking, but I definitely need to use it more, like, don't mind me kind of thing. And somebody still commented saying, like, I don't think you should put these palettes that you've used one time in your ranking. And I was like, ma'am, I know I said that I've only used it once, but I just felt like I should rank it. And, I mean, I feel like I said, like, I've only used it once, so I'll probably like rank it again or like put it in my whenever I end up using it I'll probably rank it again but it's just so funny how like people will literally and I know this person was not coming from a bad place but it's just that they like regurgitate the information back to you and it's like I know like I already said it like I get it thank you <laughs> okay this shade Carter's Observatory I'm using that in the waterline and I'm just running it all the way back and forth and then I'm going to take the shade this last iridescent shade on my little pencil brush give it a nice spray and put some on the inner corner and it's popping really nice I'm going to drag a little bit down to the waterline Okay, I was going to go up, but I decided instead to go a little bit into the waterline instead. But that is so pretty. I feel like super simple, super quick and easy. So, you know, I love that for me. But I'm going to put on some mascara and some blush and some lipstick. And I will be right back to show you guys the finished look. Okay, friends. So here is the second look. I had so much fun creating this, so let me know which one is your favorite. I feel like they kind of look similar, but I promise it's different in person. <laughs> Anyways, let me tell you really quick what else is on my face. Most certainly wanted to talk about my lip color today. I should have a reel up of this, but I bought this a while ago. This is the Sephora Favorites Perfect Pout Lip Kit. Usually I think these are such a waste of money, but this was $34 and it has a $90 value. There's five products in here, three of which are full size. I don't think I own any of these in any form, sample or full size. So I was very excited to grab this and I did swatch all the shades for Instagram, but I have on Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Top Medium. And I feel like if you are a tan girl or a brown girl, maybe the original pillow talk is just a little bit too light for you. That's certainly how I felt. So I'm so happy to have pillow talk medium to try. And so far, I think it looks really good with my skin tone. So very, very happy about that. And then I'm also wearing the Natasha Denona Berry Cheek Trio. I did also film a reel with this one. So Hopefully that's up on my Instagram already. If it's not, it's coming soon. So make sure you're following me on there. And then for foundation and concealer, I'm using two kind of Asian-owned brands, I guess. So this is Kofi and this is Huda Beauty. Love both of those so, so much. So yeah, that is the look. Now let's go ahead and talk about how I feel 
about this cutie from the Nomad line. So I'm super duper excited. Listen, I've just kind of realized after reflecting that my heart lies with jewel tones. I love jewel tones. I just think they look so beautiful and I can't get away from them. So they're like my pastels. Some people love wearing pastel eyeshadows. I just love a good jewel tone palette. So this is this is just like so me right now. I think this is a great approach to kind of a fun little bit more interesting color story but if you're kind of a makeup beginner or you want to like dip your toe in the multi-chrome pool this might be a fun way to do that i think you can create really easy really fun looks with this palette so even if you want to wear this to work i think these beautiful like lighter mommy tones would be beautiful you have a black that always comes in handy if you want to deepen things up a little bit make it a little bit more smoky a little bit more edgy but man they pick some beautiful shades for this palette i feel like it is a perfect representation of what I would think of as like a stargazing palette because they really captured the night sky in this one. So let me know, have you been to New Zealand? Is it on your bucket list like mine? And if you have been to New Zealand, did you go stargazing in New Zealand? I need to know the tea. I'm so pumped to have this. And like I said, I do have an affiliate code. It's KH Makeup if you want to save on the Nomad site. But yeah, this has been out now for some time. And it seems like lots of people are really enjoying it as well. So I am sorry that I wasn't able to get my video up before the launch. But I had good intentions. The flu just took me out, y'all. So that is it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these looks. Leave me a comment and let me know which one was your favorite. And I will talk to you in another video very, very soon. Bye for now.